Alright again, welcome back. Um, today I am going to be reading some comments from a review I did a few weeks ago. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this. Commentators, that's super lame. Um, and now for something completely different. Comments, 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 comments. comments, comments. comments. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, the video in question is the review I did for The House That Jack Built, a Lars von Trier film. Um, the film itself is quite experimental in certain, certain parts of it. So the, the nature of the film, it's quite experimental as is Lars von Trier's style. Um, I've learnt a lot about him since this video. I've learnt a lot about this movie since this video. From people commenting and being dicks. <laughs> first comment we're going to look at. Oh, the, the, this, this comment. Comments. Comments. Mm. Great film. Not watching your ass review. Just leaving my opinion and... <laughs> and leaving. Didn't even watch it. Just said it's a good film. Fuck you for calling it the worst film of all time. And then just left. <laughs> I love this movie. I think it does a great job of using Virgil as the voice of the audience to attack Jack through his patronizing beliefs. The whole movie is through Jack's eyes. So the movie is going to be patronizing and stupid because it's him trying to justify what he does and why he does it. Um, I could go on and keep reading this entire comment, but this was a really good comment. This was a this was a nice one. This gave me someone's uh, perspective and opinion on it in a nice and constructive way. Not just saying that they hated me for it. <laughs> it was an amazing film actually, from start to finish. Okay. 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 <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> this one genuinely made me laugh a lot when I, <laughs> when I first read it. I did, I lose, I lost my shit. I was like, okay, you know what? Fair play, fair, fair play to the man. Um, this is by Spazco, so it's got Spaz in the name. Um, this is what happens when a Disney fan watches a Lars von Trier movie. Yep, that's, yep. I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. My response to that was, ha, huh, this is higher up there in terms of insults I've got on this video. Which, to be fair, that was a creative, like a creative comeback. Which means that they took the time to look through some of the other reviews I've done. There's not that many. Some of the reviews I've done, a lot of them being Marvel, <laughs> some Disney films, and then been, and they've used that against me. Creative. I like it. I am personally a huge fan of this movie and complaints I understand. Unlike a lot of people that are commenting, I respect your opinion. I will say the editing is very disjointed and the ending comes out of nowhere. However, that is all to serve a certain, a certain style for what is supposed to be a black comedy with shocking moments that do leave an impact. I hear you and understand the movie can be hard to get into. It's a certain taste and I don't think people forget that when they hate on you for simply disliking a movie. Nice video though. I like the voice man. Brendan Reviews. Thank you, Brendan Reviews. That was awesome. That was so nice. So... That... That's how you... That's how you comment and leave constructive criticism and just be an all-round nice chap. That is nice. Thank you, Brendan. <laughs> Keep in mind a lot of this film is comedy. Like Jack being an idiot and obvious not-so-charming guy, but no one was noticing. The fake cop scene telling the worst lies in the world gets in the house. The ending was all in his head. He had been shot by the cops, he didn't make it and fell into hell. I assumed that as well. When I, I mean obviously you assume that, you don't think he really goes to hell. Like, he obviously gets shot and dies. He goes into a house of bodies at the end or whatever, and then goes down into the sewers and stuff, and then progressively gets further and further into hell. So by the time he's in hell, if you don't think, oh fuck yeah, he got shot and he died. If you think he really went through this like manhole, that into the sewers and the water and the canals and all that sort of stuff, whatever he went into. And then you think, oh yeah, he just casually went down to hell. Like for real. You were dumb. <laughs> but thank you for the comment. 
tell me you know nothing about LVT films without telling me you know nothing about LVT movies. That was... That was not too bad. That was up there. However, it... Mm, the whole point of this video and that review was so that I went into this film knowing almost nothing. I didn't know who the director was at the time. I didn't know that he'd also done Melancholia, which is a film that I actually enjoyed and I've seen before this film. Um, they wanted me to go into a blind. They wanted me to know nothing about it, not know any of the actors, not know the plot, not know what it was about, not know that it was like, yeah, a thriller, dark comedy thing or whatever. They wanted me to go in blind. Huh. That, yeah, this comment, I agree with. I know nothing about LVT films. Yes. <laughs> so, also the worst cinematography, writing performances, editing, etc. you've ever seen. Worse than anything from Blumhouse or anything. Worse across the board than Do Little 2020 or anything on that level. Okay. I will admit, having had time to sit on this review and sit on my thoughts and opinions of it and having had conversations with commenters and other people about the film. Um, I don't hate it as much as I did, but I still dislike it quite a lot. It's that's just because it's, it's, it's just not for me. That's all. I'm not saying that it's not a film that people can't enjoy or that I think it's like overall like a terrible, awful fucking film. It is just not a film for me. That's 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 where that's where I've come to. That's where I've come to from a, f a month or two or whatever, and sitting on this review and getting some lovely comments. <laughs> um, I'm glad I'm not the only one who hated the ending to this. They could have ended with him going down the hole, and it would have been just fine. Those last 15, 20 minutes were so patronising. Like we knew he was going to hell. We, we, we had we had a good back and forth about this. We, we talked about it, we said what we did, what we didn't like. Um, yeah, like, she overall, I think, she overall enjoyed the majority of the film, minus the ending, it sounds like. And that's fine, we don't have to agree on this sort of stuff. Movies are largely subjective. Um, some have mass appeal, some, some don't, some are more indie, some are more very niche, sort of, yeah. A, a, a pill to people with niche interests, and that's fine. That's all good if you like this movie, you like this movie. You enjoy what you want to enjoy. It's a good movie, you just don't get it, do you? It's hard to say these without laughing, because some of you guys are just so mean for no reason. Is this a joke? You're a joke. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. This one, this one, <laughs> this one got me. <laughs> I genuinely laughed out loud at this because I was like, fuck me, this is aggressive. <clears throat> you might consider not doing this anymore. Just, you might consider not doing this anymore. And then I commented back, Jesus Christ, ha, ha, ha because it's fucking funny. It made me laugh. <laughs> he came back with a comment saying, no, I'm just fucking around, man. You chill. <laughs> like, okay. Thanks for putting me through that, man. <laughs> so a film that's really intellectual is the worst film you've seen. Oh, dear. That was by Zach Harris. Um, again, films are subjective. Some films are designed to be intellectual or seem intellectual. Or some films are more intellectual than others. Just because I dislike this film doesn't mean I didn't think it was intellectual. And doesn't mean I didn't think that it wasn't like thought provoking. Just because I didn't like it doesn't mean that like I don't understand why other people do like it. It's just not my jam, it's not my bag. Thing which I tend to try and do with these comments and if people are commenting mean things or they don't agree with my opinion or my review or something like that, I just, I just try and ask them why. I try and have a conversation about it. I try and have a back and forth. Um, which is what happened with, with this dude. I asked for like a little bit more constructive criticism to see like what he thought and um, yeah, I, 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 re I reiterated my opinion again. Um, and then he ended up coming back with some, like we had a really good conversation, if I'm being completely honest. I, I very much enjoyed it. We had a good back and forth. 
Zach Harris did, once I actually started having a conversation with him, Zach Harris did a pretty quick, not necessarily a 180, let's call it a 160. He almost did a 180. He did a 160 and yeah, ended up, we just ended up having a nice conversation about it. And um, one of my favorite things is talking to people about movies and about TV and about nerdy stuff and about the things I enjoy. That's, I enjoy having conversations with things that I am passionate about. And I am passionate about TV and movie and films. And yeah, this stuff's nice. I am really, really happy that such an unconstructive comment turned into a very, very nice conversation with, um, with a guy that seems pretty chill and pretty nice. So yeah. Cool. Thanks for the comment, Zach Harris. It was very nice of you. <laughs> but this, this next run of comments, I genuinely didn't actually find these um, find these funny or anything like that. I was just like, I tried really, really hard to like have a back and forth and to say nice things and be a nice person about it. And I, I, I said, I think I commented back twice to this person. I've deleted these comments by the way because they were just fucking mean. Um, I tried to have a back and forth and it didn't really happen, unfortunately, which sort of sucks, so. Um, Vincent R, these are the mean comments now. Vincent R said, Tyler John Film, you're just not likable enough to be on YouTube. It's funny now. Ah, <laughs> oh, so mean. <laughs> this dude didn't comment just once, by the way. He commented <laughs> five fucking times. And after, it only got worse after I, um, after I commented back once, after I asked for like constructive criticism. His next comment was honestly, just delete this channel. So thanks for, Thanks for that. The next one, Tyler John Film. This isn't some kind of back and forth roasting session, but if that's your reaction to maybe the best serial killer movie out there, then maybe this isn't for you. The best serial killer movie out there? The, the best serial killer movie out there. I mean, no. Then, still not done with Vincent Art. Then, um, he said, Tyler John Film, maybe try another genre. It was at this point that I was like, okay, well he's literally not saying anything at all. I'm trying to be nice. Why is this dude just like so, just like crazily angry? And he seems really genuinely pissed off and upset about like, that I just, I didn't like this movie. Tyler John Film, so after 20 videos, you need other people to tell you what to review next because you're out of ideas. That doesn't, if that doesn't tell you to choose a different pad, I don't know what will. Hmm. <clears throat> Sir, I'm trying to engage with my audience. I'm trying to engage with people. I enjoy talking about films. I enjoy getting recommended films. I enjoy films and movie all together. So to be able to talk back and forth with other people on the internet about this in real life, going to the movies and seeing it with friends and stuff. Oh, out of ideas. That's cute. <laughs> I then just delete all these comments because fuck this dude. Not constructive at all. Just so mean and like, just have a conversation. Be nice, let people enjoy and like what they want to like, my dude. Don't spread all this shit, like, come on. God damn. I'd like to be able to have a back and forth between you guys, the viewers, commenters, audience, whatever, and myself, that would be awesome. Um, I would love for it to be constructive most of the time. Just have a conversation about it. Be nice to each other, guys, like, fuck. <laughs> uh. That was, that's, that's, that is the end of this comments uh, video. <laughs> um, let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed it, if you've even seen the comments on this video, if you agree with these people's opinions. I fucking, I hope you don't. <laughs> um, yeah, if not, that's cool. If you do, no, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Go and check out some other videos. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. If it's a crime, then I'm guilty. Guilty of dreaming of you.